So let's have a little look at style sheets now. It's in the, the same sort of field as publication history and revisions. It's about the output that comes out of chorus. It's not really one that lowers the risk of things going wrong, but everyone that uses chorus as a designer, they want the specifications to look good, look good alongside the drawings, the same style, the same font. So it'll make your documents look good. And it'll also create efficiencies because you're having to do less work post-processing. I know a lot of users that export the word and then spend a lot of time getting it looking perfect. You can set up good style sheets. Don't have to do any of that anymore. So let's watch this in action. So at an organization level, you can set up your style sheets. I'll show some support pages later on. on uh, there's a hyperlink there as well. Uh, that will show you how to actually set up the style sheets. But once your style sheets are set up, then when you go to publish the specification, the last step on that wizard is going to say, uh, which style sheet would you like to use? And you could use a company style sheet, a client style sheet. But let's watch this in action. So we go through those two or three steps to, if you want to compare revisions, make a publication history record. Fourth step goes into the style sheets. And you can pick from the style sheets that have been set up at an organization level. So here's the one with double column. It's going to be landscape, fancy cover page. And you can see you can make the MBS specification look exactly as you want for your organization or exactly as a particular client at once. So there's a three roof covering systems with one particular style sheet. Doing it exactly the same steps again, we pick a completely different style sheet and show that the content looks, the words are exactly the same, but the content is presented uh, completely differently. So, so this time we're going to see A4 sheet with the, the headers twisted sideways on the left-hand side. So you can see we've got the table of contents page and then we have classification and system titles in the sort of left-hand uh, thumb tab. So whatever you can do in Microsoft Word using headers and styles, you can do exactly the same now in Chorus, but do it once and then let everyone in your organization benefit from, from, from getting that 